Hi there, my name's Anthony James. Uh, I'm a junk model maker, that means I make models out of junk. And have done for about 20 years as a company called Creature Armour. I work for film, television and theatre as a prop maker and I work in lots and lots of schools and have done across the UK and beyond. I'm just going to do a little bit now about general model making techniques. So if you've already seen this on another one of my YouTube posts, then just fast forward to the bit where my shirt changes colour, that will be the actual make. For those that haven't uh, seen any of my posts before, I'm just going to do a little general piece about making models. The first thing you're going to need, if you're making them out of junk, is some scissors. These are my sort of medium sized scissors, good for adults, but if you're working with children, what you want are these smaller scissors with the blue handles on them. Uh, they're obviously different colours. If they're yellow and green in the UK, they're for left-handed people. If they're just one colour like this, they're for right-handed. Get that right straight off, because obviously if you're trying to cut the wrong pair of scissors for you, you won't be able to make anything. Children particularly will think it's their talent that's at fault, so we don't want that to happen. Uh, they're sharp, be careful. Small scissors like this are blunt-ended, which is great, so they're not quite as easy to stab yourself with. Also, um, they're very good for cutting round corners, so for making smaller models, these are the scissors you want, particularly if you're working with children. And then, everything I build, and you can see some of my things behind me, is made with masking tape. Uh, masking tape is fantastic stuff. It's, you don't have to wait for it to dry, it's dry straight away, and you can paint over it. But there are ways to use it, and certain ways not to use it. This is one of the ways not to use masking tape, particularly with children. Don't try and break it with your teeth. The first thing, obviously, you'll get it stuck to your lip and it hurts when you pull it off. That can make a child's lip very sore. Uh, it's also not very hygienic, uh, so don't do it that way. The way I do it, and it's a very simple way, yes, you can use scissors, but I tend to find that slows you down. Just get the tape off, and you can see in my hand there, the sticky side's away from you. Put your thumb on the corner and pull. The tape will come straight off. It makes you very quick at making things. So I'm going to put that bit of tape there later on because that's how to do it. Put lots of little bits of tape around so they're ready to use. I'm going to do it again. Put a bit of tape off. Put your thumb there, right in the corner. Don't worry if you bite your nails or you don't think you've got very long nails. Just press your thumb really hard. It will still work and tear. And that's your tape. That's really all you'll need. Uh, obviously some paints at the end of the make will be very good. Uh, there's all kinds of different paints out there. Try and use a water-based paint if you're working with children because that's easier to wash out of where they're going to get the paint all over uh, and uh, obviously the way I'm going to show you to make models you should have a surface that's quite easy to paint there are lots of different makes of paint out there I find acrylic some of the best paint to use so this re that's really just the general model make now on to the actual building of well what you're going to make next off we go Hi and welcome to another Creature Armour YouTube make. Uh, we're going to make a Russian space launcher. This is a, uh, a Russian rocket that was used to get Sputnik into space. They're called the R7s. They're still using them now to get Russian spaceships into uh, Earth orbit. Uh, it's a very, very simple make, so I'll show you how to do it. The first thing you're going to need is some blank paper. Uh, now I say blank, it can be scrap, it can be anything. It can be newspaper, but I think blank paper is better because you can do whatever you want with it. So there's a piece of paper. The next thing you, you do, uh, some of you that watch me on YouTube quite a bit will know this a little bit, you stick it half on and half off onto the table like this. So put some masking tape all the way around. Don't use little bits, use quite large bits to go all the way around that piece of paper. And just stick it to a table Again, make sure it's a table that you can do this to, uh, so not a, a varnished table or, or um, a table that's got a tablecloth on or anything like that. Make sure it's a, a sort of laminated tabletop like this. Press it on, choose one corner, and then very gently pull it off, and now that's ready. Now the next thing you'll need is a plastic bottle. The good thing to do with these, if they've got any fluid inside, any drink inside, keep it in there, do the top up really tight. If they're a bit crushed or squashed at all, open the top there, let the air in, and then do it back up. Make sure it's really tight like that. Put your paper on the table, and then just roll your plastic bottle onto the paper like that, and that's covered your bottle, just like that. Now, that's the first bit done, that's quite easy. The next thing is to make the R7's uh, rocket engines. Now, the engines in the R7 are quite unusual, because they're, they're quite long, quite, um, 
science fiction-y, I think. So we're going to do those using kitchen rolls. The easiest way to do this is to get a kitchen roll. Make sure your two kitchen rolls are roughly the same size like that. And just squash it onto the table. Use a pair of scissors and just cut from one corner to the other corner. All the way up like this. And that's it. That's your two engines. Okay, so you'll obviously need to do this again. So your engines are like that and you stick them on. The way you stick them on is you get some masking tape, put it half on and half off on your sliced kitchen roll like this. I snip the ends with scissors just to make it tidy because uh, if you get really untidy with rockets, they do look a bit messy. So it's nice to cut some of the, the bits of tape straight. Um, I'm going to do another bit here, half on and half off on the other side. You just have to be careful now you don't let this close. Now the way to stick them on is just to bend the tape back like this with your fingers look, like that, so you can hold it. Make sure you've not squashed it flat, you need to have it nice and open like that. And then just stick one of your engines on. Now the good thing about this, put the bottle in front of you like that so it's nice and straight and just place it where you want it so it's, it's it's vertical with the bottle so like that look there we are and we're on that's it and do that another three times and there by the magic of creature armor are the four engines all attached I, we've sped ahead and done that rather than you sitting and watching me do it another three times um, at this point you have a Flash Gordon spaceship from the old TV series okay so that's how to make a very simple Flash Gordon entire rocket which is lovely uh, going on to make the, the uh, Russian R7 uh, and by the way this is the rocket that took Sputnik into space um, what you need to do now is attach this section here uh, again masking tape this is the wonderful toilet roll uh, put some tape around it like that, half on and half off. Just take the tape around. Try and get a, a bit of tape off and go all the way around. Press it down. It's amazing how many people make models that aren't brilliant because they just don't press the tape down. And then just snip the tape. Snip, snap, snip, snap, snip, snap, all the way around and make what I call a sticky flower. And just open those petals out and attach. Now to attach this, hold the rocket so you can see the top and put the toilet roll and make sure that top is in the middle like that. Once you've done that, then put it on the table and just make sure it's straight and then press those petals down. Now that will ensure that it's a nice straight fit, which as you can see it is there. We've got a little bit of plastic here still showing from the bottle where the paper wasn't quite long enough. What I tend to do for that, which I think is quite a nice touch on these models, is get some masking tape and cut it into little squares and just panel that piece of plastic. So put a couple of squares over it like this, press it down, keep doing that all the way around so you cover all the plastic. That'll make painting easier later on. If you leave that plastic there, that can affect the way it looks when you paint. And some paints won't go on it very well, so cover that in masking tape. And then one of the last bits to do with the major part of the rocket is that pointy bit on the top. All rocket points, uh, uh, people tend to think they're very difficult to do and they're not. Just use a toilet roll, Squidge it on the table, cut from one corner to the other corner, like that, which we did for the engines, and it's exactly the same, one corner to the other. But you get a piece of masking tape, and this time, stick your tape half on and half off, and then just fold it over with your other finger, and stick that together. Uh, I'm just going to make that point nice, like that. Now, you'll now have a little cone, like this. Okay, and you can see we've got a much higher side here, so I'm just going to cut that straight like that to make a nice comb like that. Now, that will not fit on there, okay? Yes, you can put tape around, but it will look a bit messy. The trick here is to use this toilet roll and just go snip, 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 all the way around. Lots of snips at the top of the toilet roll that you've already attached to the main part of your rocket, like that. And then just gently pull those in with your hand and slot that cone on top like that. And you'll see, look, that it fits. 
okay? Again, make sure it's straight. And then the way I do it is I just use, again, little long pieces of masking tape and just cut them out. Again, it just makes it look a lot better when it's painted because you sort of see these little squares and these little rectangles all over it. And it looks a bit like panelling. So I'm going across and around there, look, each little bit attached. I won't do it all, you can see the idea there. And that really is your R7 rocket. Now there are some details, just for detailing it. You can use corrugated cardboard. I've used a little bit of corrugated cardboard there, look, around the neck of my version here, just to make a bit of interest. And I've, I've cut some little bits off as well. And there's another way. This is a single hole punch, very useful. If you've watched my Viking uh, how to make, you can see that on that one as well. It's just great for making portholes in ships but it's also very good for making details on rockets. Just get a piece of cardboard. So I'm gonna just cut that little piece of card off there. Thin card, and another bit here, like that. So I've got just a thin little strip. And I'm just gonna use this single hole punch to punch some holes through. So, one, two, three, four. Just gonna do four on that one, and then I'm just gonna Snip that, snip that. I'm going to use a little bit of tape. Now, I must admit here, if you want to, you can use those glue sticks. So if you want to use a glue stick to address this sort of thing, you can. I'm just going to just cut myself some very small pieces of tape, just like this. Snip and snip. I'm just going to put that on. And this is one way of just making little bits of decoration go up the side of your rocket. So there's just a little bit there. I'm just going to stick that on there. For your more sort of fantasy rockets, this can make little windows and things like that. And there's just a little bit of detail there. You can see again, I've already done it on that one there. That's what it looks like. There are also lots of little dots on this. And of course, they're really the, what you're left with. Those little round pieces of card can now be stuck on with a glue stick or whatever as well to make just little bits of detail. I hadn't mentioned painting. When you paint this, there are lots of ways of painting it. You can just paint the um, paint it with grey paint if you want to, or if you want to paint it with grey and then spray some silver on, that's a way. Or just spray it with spray paints, depending on where you can do that if you've got somewhere to do it and what kind of paints you have. Once you've painted it, that's when to stick the CCP on there, which I, again I got off a computer there. Look and just have stuck that on with a glue stick. So that's how to put this sort of CCP on, things like that, which just finish it off nicely. But uh, there's your R7 rock.